When you think of James Harrison, you think of a fire-breathing dragon, somebody who's crushing your quarterback. Hard-hitting, mean-looking. This guy's just been lights out, balls out. With a mean streak, he definitely scares a lot of offensive coordinators. Third and five after the timeout, Garcia being tracked down and the sack for James Harrison. Here's the kid from Kent State who replaced Joey Porter. Harrison has his first NFL sack. Here comes the blitz from Copley. Fumble on the play on the hook and picked up on the play and there he goes in for a touchdown. That is Harrison, the linebacker. James Harrison. Oh, at the huddle, he won the play clock all the way down, and then Breeze hangs in there, and that is tipped, and it is intercepted. Intercepted by James Harrison, who looks like Edwin Moses on the run back, and brings it all the way back out to the 44-yard line. And Harrison's second year out of Kent State with the pick off the deflection, and Pittsburgh will have the ball near midfield. This guy was cut multiple times before really having a breakout season, and this guy just got it. I mean, he stayed hungry. He found a way to end up making a roster. His motor never stops, and I think it goes back to the whole undrafted thing. As an undrafted guy, you just got that chip on your shoulder at all times, so this guy's going to bring it every play. I mean, he's got, a, he's got it all. He's got the complete package. I think the thing that makes him so special is his body type is, is very unique. You know, because he's not a tall guy, but he's stocky. He's built well. Third and 13, rush five. Getting away for a second from Harrison. Now the ball comes out. It's still free. And you saw the arm reaching in, and Harrison underneath pulls it away. And the Steelers have recovered. Pittsburgh ball. James Harrison's pressure caused it. Second and eight, McNair, Harrison forced another turnover, near turnover. McGahee's got it, and Harrison brings him down, so he stopped inside the one. It is the James Harrison night in the first 20 minutes of the game. He is a defensive beast. In the 45, McGahee picked up the pressure, and it's an interception. He wants to send James Harrison directly to Honolulu in the fourth <laughs> The pressure on, McNair brought down, the James Harrison show <laughs> continues. Harrison has been a superstar tonight. It is a human highlight film. Two receiver out, once again, back pick, ball out. Recovered by Pittsburgh. Mr. Monday night on defense this year, James Harrison knocked it out. Looks again, line does the job, and then finally breaking through is Harrison. He didn't have anything downfield. He waited, and by the time he was ready to throw, Harrison was there. I think actually sitting down and putting the time in to be a true professional and learn, you know, the defense, learn what you're doing. It's not going to just come to you. You got to sit down and study. Everything I've done from the beginning to now has been all my own, you know, hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. You look at the highlights, it seems like James Harrison is you know, doing something to impact the football game. This guy is, you know, he's a highlight reel. What was your particular motivation coming into this season? I mean, what it is each year is to try and win the Lombardi. That's the ultimate goal of the game. Sean in trouble, and he's sacked. Third sack of the day. James Harrison named the MVP of this team last year, coming off his first Pro Bowl season, and he gets to the quarterback. Oh, there's a sack, loose ball. And the Steelers may have it. And they do. James Harrison stripping that ball. Pressure back on Flacco on the Baltimore offense. Catch, ball out, it's wide. It's recovered and untouched with the score. Gotta get the ball in. He's waiting, waiting, waiting. Nothing open. Moves out the pocket. Go on, James High. Welcome to the NFL. Harrison coming in, he's got Rivers, balls out, and that's been deal with the recovery, it'll go as a safety. James Harrison's just having a monster year, his 12th sack of the year. Rivers intercepted right at the 10-yard line by James Harrison. Harrison making another huge play, already with a safety, and now with a pick. And the Patriots at the 29. Castle lost the ball. It's on the ground. Who's got it? Pittsburgh. James Harrison 
with the sack and the strip. Castle under the gun, lost the ball again. Harrison, unbelievable. James Harrison does it again. Third down and eight. A blitz from the Steelers, and Romo goes down. The ball comes out. Harrison got there again. Third down, Rivers, and the Drake ball over. Aaron Smith and James Harrison. Look at James Harrison. First ever undrafted player to win the Defensive Player of the Year. When I say top 10 greatest plays in Super Bowl history, what's the first play that comes to your mind? Super Bowl 43, James Harrison interception. From the gun, Steelers show blitz. Here they come. He gets it away and it's picked off at the goal line. There's a flag thrown on the run back, James Harrison to run it back, and Harrison is past midfield. Harrison going down the sideline. Harrison still on his feet. Harrison is going to go all the way and waiting for the official to get there. Touchdown is signal. It's the longest play in Super Bowl history. It's a 100-yard interception return. There's at least four or five times where he should have been back. When he scored that touchdown, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they brought out every oxygen tank that they could think of. They got out in front of one another and ran it back. And that's what I'll always remember about that play, that convoy of bodies in front of James. When you think of your top defensive players, you want a guy that impacts the game or that has game-changing plays, and that's what he does every week. How do you feel when you hear people say that he's playing the game dirty? It upsets me, you know. I'm not a, you know, I don't think by any uh, any stretch of the imagination am I a dirty player. As far as I'm concerned, you know, everybody got to play on the same field. So whatever it comes down to, it, it comes down to. It's the game. Just get over it. Scrambling, hit from behind and fumbles. And guess who? James Harrison makes his presence immediately. Call the screen and Culpepper is topped by James Harrison. What a player he has become. Can you believe that he was a free agent? And Culpepper, he takes it again from the rush and it's James Harrison. He's observed it over four times. Here's a second and ten. They got to run the quarterback. The ball not free. Pittsburgh's ball. Harrison is a man unleashed. Their own 22, Flacco to throw. Running out of time. And goes down. Flacco to throw. Running out of time and he goes down. James Harrison. This place is nuts. Third down and seven. Rodgers goes down. In the arms of Harrison. Guy who's been cut four times in his NFL career. Boy, James Harrison just does not quit. Who's in front of a die, and it gives Painter an opportunity to throw, and instead a fumble, and Polamalu will take it into the end zone. James Harrison created it. Troy Polamalu scores, and Pittsburgh takes the lead. Baltimore with one timeout. Flacco is going to go down at the 30-yard line. That's Harrison. Steelers thrilled to have him back, especially with Woodley out and Farrier out tonight. And Flacco, speaking of Harrison. This time they try and use two backs to block James Harrison. Initial success, ultimate failure. Black on third and eight, under pressure, loses the ball. Picked up by the Steelers. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, 92. Not always the team making all the decisions on final cut down day. Saturday linebacker James Harrison made the decision himself to call it a career. September 15th, you 2014. Know, I actually, oh, wait I, was, I was content with it. I really was, honestly, on everything. I was good with it, but I ended up talking to Ike and Troy. And, you know, I didn't want to feel like I was letting down my brother. And then the retirement lasted 18 days. Yeah. 18 days. Here comes Debo. James Harrison coming out of the tunnel with black and gold colors on. Second and five. And they got a hit on luck. And the ball's on the ground. James Harrison was the one who wanted to. How about that? 92 just keeps working. 
Garcia over to the right side. Hayden Fink's going right, and he's tackled down. And again, it's James Harrison with the sack. Boy, did he have C.J. Anderson on his heels. Second goal, three. And they got him. And it looks like Harrison with the sack, which would be an all-time stealer record. He's back. Delayed blitz. He's been at sack, and the ball came out. Debo on the scene, and to it recovers the fumble. How about that? Four-man rush, and that's enough. And there's James Harrison. Gets the sack. At age 38, he's been the best player on the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. Let's just tell exactly how it is. Here comes Harrison again. It's Harrison again to him. You want to know why you dress him? Well, he hasn't been dressed for a few games for situations like this, no. and he's showing you, hey, I can still play football. Will it occur to you at all when you run out of the tunnel on Sunday? This could be my last game at Heinz Field. Didn't even think about it. To be honest with you, uh, uh, I guess it could be. As soon as the Steelers dropped him on Saturday, Pittsburgh's all-time sack leader, James Harrison, signing with the Patriots today. He played this is some kind of unprecedented event. It's, that's just not what it is. We're not talking about college now where players don't change teams. This is professional football. It's like that every year. It's like that every week. It's like that on every team. I don't see it as some big historical event. Catch, good job by Hanson. Here's Petty. Here's Harrison. Ball backed out of his hands by Harrison. The game, John can snap to Petty. He's back in the pocket. He steps up, pressured by Harrison, Harrison who has football. another, twisting him to the turf at midfield. A second sack on as many snaps for James Harrison. Welcome to the Pats, bud. Rushing four, Portals in trouble. They get to him, and the ball's down. It was James Harrison who got to him first. <laughs> of course it is. Yep. James has been great. Um, Really professional, works hard. Um, he's, he's into football, he's into his job, and wants to do it well. So I 100% mean, totally respect that. He was with the Ravens, and they cut him, and then he goes to the Steelers, their arch rivals, has an amazing career, and then goes to their arch rivals, the Patriots, and plays in the Super Bowl, and almost gets a ring with those guys. James Harrison's in the Hall of Fame conversation. He really is. 